Mike, uh, sometimes I like to bring you stuff that is unique to this market where you're down in West Virginia, but you cover the whole league. And you might not always know what the people here are saying about the team. There is a big number of Steelers fans who are convinced that DK Metcalf is not only available, but as someone who could be traded to the Steelers between now and the start of the season. Would you like to add to that, or would you like to completely shoot a concept like that down right now? I haven't heard anything about it beyond chatter and Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf working out. A lot of people will read tea leaves based upon the things that players from different teams do when they're they're in their downtime. But hell, Russell Wilson may not be the quarterback of the team this year at this rate. Mm. So that that's one fewer tea leaf that we can look at if that's ultimately the case. So I can't rule out anything, but I haven't heard anything that would make me say, uh-oh, it looks like DK Metcalf's going to be a stealer. Ha- so because you brought it up, what is your sort of, I'll say 10,000-foot view, because you are in West Virginia, you're pretty close to here, to just Russell Wilson being slow rolled here from this calf thing uh, and Justin Fields getting so much time uh, as the first team quarterback here early in camp, Mike. Well, as Mike Tomlin said today, Fields is taking advantage of his opportunities and it's been pole position ever since late March. Russell Wilson has the pole position. And again, I don't know much about car racing, but I know that winning the pole position and winning the race are two very different things. (laughs) And when your car is up on a jack because one of the wheels is blown, it gives the other cars a chance to blow by you. So Fields has the chance. It sounds like he's doing something with it. It sounds like the Steelers are willing to be very slow and careful with Russell Wilson. And the obvious consequence is it's giving Fields a chance to get more comfortable. And as I've told you guys before, I think deep down the Steelers know they're better off if Fields emerges as the guy they want beyond 2024 because he's 10 years younger. And you keep him if he ends up being the guy. And he's going to have to earn it. And he's getting the chance to earn it. But we'll see. What he does in practice and what he does in games will be two different things. Mike, do you think that maybe uh, internally, this is maybe not exactly what they hoped would happen all along, but they're not devastated by the news that Wilson has a calf strain, meaning if Fields wasn't here and Kyle Allen was the Steelers' backup quarterback, would they be as slow to bring Wilson back from the injury, or are they actually excited about the prospect of seeing what Fields looks like with the first-team offense? I think at some level, how can you complain about getting a chance to get Justin Fields up to speed, to see what his ceiling in that offense with Arthur Smith running the show might be but the reality is with any guy on the wrong side of 35 and russell wilson turns 36 in november those soft tissue injuries they happen more easily they linger longer you still think you can run and move like you used to and to some extent you still can but your body is quicker to say "Uh uh-uh no that's not how it works anymore so they do need to be smart with russell wilson if they want him to be healthy i mean the easier thing would be just let him go out there and strain the calf until the point he can't play that so i think they want them both to be help, healthy they want them both to be available but but they're both brand new to the team they're both brand new to arthur smith and one guy's getting reps and one guy isn't and that's significant in and of itself 